I, I want I want to hear uh, Lex uh, try to save AMC. Like, what do you have to? What oh, you, you had a, you had a business model for him? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. It's just, I guess, me as a film work maker, just that feeling of being able to sit down in the movie theater and see your shit on the big screen. Yeah, like it. It was in an interview where Rizzo oh, was that talking goes about. Away. Oh man! And Rizzo was just talking about he was like, when he finally made what was the shit? Iron uh, Iron, Fist. Iron Fist. Yeah. Yeah, and he said being able to just go. He said I. He said when it went came public. Iron Fist was really dope. Actually, he went to a movie theater and he said I just sat in the back row and I had my hood on so people didn't know it was me. And he said being able to just sit there and see your movie get played on that big screen with tons of people there. Yeah. And he said some motherfuckers enjoying it, some not un- enjoying it, not understanding it. He said mm-hmm. it was like, that's a feeling that not so many people get. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, that's going to be gone. What yeah, I'm, I'm really worried about, uh, uh, when I said it before though, like the Quibi thing and all that, um, and then theaters going away, um, that, People like you're gonna train the public to not be able to take in a lot of information at one time from mm. one particular idea. Yeah. So like then people will be working. You're working at a faster pace for one, but which will, which will then take away I guess the people that have to work for like two years to present something to people that they then binge watch or watch in a, a sitting and yeah. all that all that shit all that work that you put in people just can quickly comment on what the hell they thought about it from their living room. But if you take, take that away, that's fine. But take away like the, the idea that people cannot sit down and take in enough information from one particular topic or one, one particular idea. They just have, they have to get this one and then they have to run to the next one. They have to run to the next one. They have to run to the next one and never really, never really like expound on one particular uh, person's idea is, is a little scary to me personally. It's, Go ahead. For me, it's terrifying because now that you're shortened, like like you said, a 10 minute clip and being able to try to tell a whole story within that 10 minutes, mm-hmm. it just kind of like breaks down the whole idea of storytelling in mm-hmm. some certain way. Because you got to think years ago, many, many years ago, people used to sit down and tell one story to a crowd of people. Yeah, it was a and connection, was, yeah. Yeah, and now... I I so <laughs> crazily disagree with you guys. Okay, all right. Um, not for the sake of, like, just disagreeing, but the those worlds, those parallel worlds have always existed. Like, short, short stories in books, like, that's a whole genre of storytelling, is, like, short stories intentionally. Um, it's not the only genre. It's not the only genre. No, they're t- they're attempting to make it the only genre. They're attempting to, but j- but the the how culpable the studios and the creatives are in that attempt is like that. That's the it's the it's the not realizing the stake in in the attempt that you hold, right? So mm-hmm. if if the if the creatives are going, man, uh, Quibi's the only way I can get my shit out. I gotta I gotta conform. Then and if every if James Cameron fucking does that if, if Spike Lee does it if everybody just goes fuck it we're, the only way we're gonna do it is just do short stories and then I, I get you but we just saw that turnout for that Coogler had for Black Panther like we see we, we see it still exists and uh, and again in the in the, the AMC's and everybody that's going out their way to do it we've watched just right here we've watched uh, what's the, sh- the theater right here um, Grand Lake. We've watched Grand Lake struggle to keep their doors open for years and, and sustain sort of the nostalgia and the history. Mm. So it's with, with anything. It gets it gets uh, with concept albums. With uh, niggas is like Future does four albums in a year, and this nigga Kendrick goes away for three years. How? Because nigga he gives us like like quality shit for us to digest, and there's and there's still a fan like that that exists that will always exist. And that spans across generation. Kendrick has old fans, he has young fans, and he has fans right in, the, right in his exact demographic. Mm-hmm. It may not be as popular, popular, and as um, what's the as 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 shiny as the other shit that's sort of easy to consume in real time. But who really wants them niggas around anyway for for stuff that's of substance for me? And so I guess you guys are right. I just shouldn't say I dis I disagree because y'all are wrong. I just I appreciate. 
the space and the hand that is being for because it's forcing people to become better storytellers and more creative storytellers um, and find multiple avenues. So for like Lex, for example, you you you've written you you've written a full feature, a full feature film, and then a full feature uh, series that's like 45, 50 minutes an episode. And then you were like, well, fuck it. Let me figure out how to tell these short, shorter stories, too. I like that. I'm not I'm not opposed to that. Niggas, niggas running a gamut and trying to figure out how to do it all. It, it feels like that. And then it feels like that doing a mixtape run and then going, all right, bet I want my mixtapes to feel a lot more like 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 albums and bodies of work. All right, bet I got the people's attention. Now I'm going to go away. And then every time I pull up, I'm going to make something that's crazy. Meanwhile. Niggas is getting off hella albums in between, and we don't remember one the way we do to Pepper Butterfly. Yeah. We don't remember. Damn, damn, won the Pulitzer for fucking crying out loud. So it that shit like that gives me hope for the long form storytellers that are like, I got something to say. I have an experience I want to present, um, and there and there continue to be space for both. I correct me if I'm wrong. What you guys are saying is that. They're trying to make it only be one a one dimensional sort of uh, platform, and that's scary. I and I say, we as a consumer, we as the creatives, would have to be so. Uh, we would have to be so uh, oblivious. No, no, no. We would have to be so in on that heist that we would be the only ones to blame if they're able to pull that off. I think the only part of this, and my bad, Lexa, my bad, but I think the only part about this that's being missed a little bit is that as as creatives in a space, right, you can, you can say that you have complete control over the content that goes out to the people mm. uh, for them to then uh, take in. Uh, but really you'll be at the you'll be at the mercy of the people so if they if they're coming up with if if technology is moving at such a fast pace right and um you have people that are not creative that are behind a lot of the technology that people are dealing with the public is dealing with and they're shortening uh the span of those people uh, before long, the landscape, the creative doesn't really have control over um, over how that response is, how that mm. response is from the public. Like the public is constantly being trained with, without anybody being knowledgeable of it. So while we're all in quarantine, everybody is getting everybody's feeding into the exact same information. Right. So people, you know, they are go, they nigga, you just told me you were anti. My nigga, I am anti, but I'm also like I'm anti at a fault sometimes. Like, but it's also like, it's, it's me, me, me doing me dealing with this in in, in uh, real time it might be a little different than like how the public is dealing with it when a lot of the information is a lot of the information that everybody's taking in is pretty much the exact same. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of a, a, a like you said it was a um, a case like a case study. It's all it's all training as well. Like this is this is constant training of the mind without people being knowledgeable of it. They just know that they're bored or um, or they or they have FOMO or any of that stuff like that, whatever that, that possibly could be. But they are constantly being trained to think a certain type of way. So if they eventually come out of this whole little time right here as nigga, we don't need a theater. Or we uh, best believe what's behind that is what's after that is nigga. We don't need to take in a large body of inf- a large body of work either. Eventually, Damn. like I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about the out the eventual outcome of that of a lot of this will be that we that's boring. So something that is two hours is boring. What, what was what was boring at at three and a half four hours? At two hours is boring. At one and a half hours is boring. At one hour is boring. At thirty minutes is boring. That's always existed though. 
It's always existed. It's at a rapid pace, though, money. We're not talking about before, nigga, before social networks and, nigga, distraction and you're shit. Right, like, you're, you, like, you got to mix in, nigga, a, person, a person's 24 hours right now is consumed by the the item that the item that is attached to their hand. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you I'm glad you said that. That the uh the 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 gaslighting piece that went viral yesterday on Medium. Did you see that? Did no. you guys read that? I'll no. share it with you. Be- beautiful. Let me let me give the let me give the author uh his proper flowers cuz um I got it. Shout out to Bruno, um my dear friend from uh South Africa. He sent it to me. It was the first thing I woke up to yesterday. Um and then I got it from, and then I sent it to Kevin. Uh, Raj sent it to me. I, I don't know why I didn't send it to you, G. Um, Julio uh, Vincent uh, Gambuto. Mm-hmm. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Brother, salute to you. You bodied it. Uh, prepare, prepare for the ultimate gaslighting. Mm-hmm. Um, you are not crazy, my friends. What we just what we collectively are experiencing right now is a, is a structure to where so much isn't demanded of our our time. Yes. So much isn't demanded of us having to be present mm-hmm. for shit that doesn't that doesn't feed us. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't have to, we don't have to subscribe to this rat race until the into the point to where it compromises our spirit, our families, our finances, and our mental our mental bandwidth and our physical health. Hmm. Um, it's a beautiful piece, y'all. I, I encourage everybody to read it. I'll, I'll, I'll even do my part. I, not that the shit needs any more help getting eyes on it, but I just want to. I just want as many people to read it and get and walk away from it, feeling, um, getting the positive reinforcement that I've been thinking. Um, mm. I feel better physically. I feel better mentally. Um, the conversations that I'm having with friends, family, and loved ones alike is completely different because of the things that they're able to think about and process for a period of time and not having to be so quick um, with decision making because it's just moving. You think it's moving fast when it really ain't moving that fucking fast. Mm. Uh, before all this would happen was doing the the, 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 the cleanse of the phone to where wouldn't touch my phone until an hour after waking up. Um, or would completely turn it, go into airplane mode in the gym, um, and then or completely leave the phone in the uh, in the control room when I'm recording in the studio as com- as a complete means of detaching from it and go, oh, I ain't miss shit, like I ain't miss nothing at all. Same right. same old propaganda, all the shit. Um, but you 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 said you you said you said it, G, and, and you and you and you and you've been saying it for a long time in terms of how we are being conditioned, um, and what what the what the powers quote unquote are always always seem to be responding to is what we get to sort of dictate and prop up as being cool, mm-hmm. and so what I what I'm hearing when y'all I, and I and I should have articulated this earlier in my earlier statement was when you guys are like, yo, AMC and shit gonna close. Yeah, AMC is gonna close, but all those like privately owned theaters that that have since had to close their doors and become other things like music venues and all the shit, there is now a means for those to exist to where they don't have to compete with the AMCs who own who who can cut a deal with the Paramounts and the and the Universals and the Cinemax and all these different companies to get exclusive rights to the films to where the mom and pops can't get them. Now the indie films come back and play. like it, it um when the when the when the mass produced infrastructure sort of implodes the underground and the mom and pops thrive and the privately owned joints thrive again. So Best Buys are closing, but the fucking record stores are opening left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the AMCs may close, but guess who's gonna be in a run for a building big enough to house a theater? Your boy. I'm gonna be looking for one. Like, cause it's just I I I it all it it seems to happen like that to where the 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 machine outbids itself because it's tethered to the condition of other people mm-hmm. where you can you can have the masses of the however many niggas pull up for the Marvel movie and all that, but give me a hundred niggas that are anti you that I know are gonna come to the movies and religiously spend their money and keep and help keep those doors open. Like the general, the casting, the, how much how much consistent 
output and how many resources you have to al- allocate to casting a big ass general net where a bunch of shit is going to slip through. You're going to lose it as opposed to going to fish for something very specific and cater to a demographic that is underseen and underserved. Um, there's so much value in that economically. 